it's me. Today I'm doing another episode of my new favorite series, winning things out of my, that's not the name of it. <laughs> Customizing what I win out of a claw machine. And it's my claw machine that I customize. I customize the claw machine to win things to customize. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite series. Maybe it's just because it's new. Maybe it's the magic of the claw machine. Maybe it's being able to visit planet Nophilophagus. But I just love doing this and I get so excited to do this, even though I have to bring in the claw machine and rearrange all my lights and cameras and everything to film this. I hate doing that so much, but I still look forward to this because it is that much fun that it overpowers the hatred I have for rearranging my equipment. Nobody cares about that information. Anyway, I think a part of the excitement that I feel for these is just the mystery aspect and not having to make a choice. Like I don't have to decide what I'm gonna paint. The claw machine will kind of decide for me. I can lead it, but it has proven to be unpredictable. And because I'm so bad at operating a claw machine, I'm likely not gonna be able to choose what I win. It's great. I'm really excited to get into this. So let's just stop yammering on and on and on and on and get to winning something out of my claw machine. All right, here I am with my claw machine. Why am I not looking directly at the camera? Let's just start by giving it some love. Give it some love. Oh, put a smudge on it. My love is smudgy. Notice where it is in the room, uh, that massive table I was using like one minute ago. Yeah, this is here in its place now. That's what I mean by everything needs to be moved. Doesn't matter. I'm excited. Look at me bouncing like a toddler. Last episode, I really wanted to win one of those so cute and intriguing little mystery bags, but I failed to do that over and over and over again. Today, I'm gonna try again for the mystery bags. Here we go on the journey, and oh, look at that. She's found a spot. Will she commit? I, I can't, can't watch. watch. She committed. You can just feel the anticipation. Oh boy, and it's going, it's going, it's going. Wow! No way. Got it on the first try. Amazing. The crowds are going wild. Really, it's just me alone in my art room. So very exciting. Clearly, I was very happy to have finally won my precious mystery bag. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm weird, and now I'm getting sassy. I really just need to calm down and collect myself. I have no idea how I literally won something on the first try. This has never happened in the history of this series, which is one episode. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what I've won. Now, clearly I am the one who put these mystery bags together. However, there is something different in each one. So it's still a mystery to me. Although after feeling it, oh boy, this is no mystery. I've done this before. I know this feel. Let's pop this open to confirm. Oh yeah, look at that, it's squishies. How? I have like a hundred different items in here, but I still always end up with the squishies. I'm like the Pied Piper of squishies. They just keep following me. We got this one. This one, this one, this one, plus a bunch of crinkle paper. Woo, it's fun. So this is a set of three mini animal dessert squishy keychains. Got that? Mini animal dessert squishy keychains. All right, now go tell somebody. They're honestly pretty cute as they are, and I kind of like that they're keychains. Though they are cute, they still must be subject to squishy roasting. I mean, it's only fair. They had to do it. Starting with this little bear. Super cute. Oh. I will say the colors do seem a little bit random. You would think that this mug has I don't know, hot chocolate, coffee in it. Why is it pink? Pink, I don't know. I do like that the blue eyes match the cup. On the other hand, anyone notice something wrong with the eyes? There's this one, and there's that one, and they're, they're not the same at all. Now I can't unsee it. This is now ruined. I hate this. Not to mention that. Ugh, trash. This roasting session started with super cute, ooh, and ended with trash. Yep, that sounds about right. My work here is finished. Next, we have this penguin ice cream. Repeat of the wonky eyes, and and strange color choices, but somehow it pulls it off. Like I still look at this overall and think that's kind of cute. I don't know why. Finally, this raccoon tart. This one was a little confusing to me. I was like, why does it have two different ears on one side of its head? Oh, it's a tail. Okay. I realize it's a tail, but I still couldn't stop looking at it as if it's an ear and it was really bothering me. Go away, please. But at least the eyes aren't wonky on this one. They're actually quite beautiful. I'm going to start by removing the keychains just to get them out of the way while I work. Now to address these scraggly edges, a nice quick trim will fix those right up. Then of course, it's every squishy's favorite time, time to sand the face off. And not just the face, but just, you know, their skin in general. Just ripping it off. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to apply a white base coat to cover the old designs so I can create my art without distraction. I need to quiet my visual mind, whatever that means. Be quiet. Shh, shh. 
bitch. I'm an artist. So now they are all fully whited and ready for their new looks. Look how excited they are. Oh, they're jumping. Happy. I'm gonna start focusing on one at a time. You jumping into the painting. I went with a light chocolate color for this bear because he's going to be a hot cocoa bear. <gasps> Sound familiar? Well, yes, because this is the child of Mr. Hot Cocoa. He is little cocoa. Oh my gosh, look, here's your dad. Wow, the size difference. Is he a newborn? Uh, ooh. <laughs> what word did I just say? I want them to be similar enough to be related, but different enough to be interesting. I also have to think about how Lil Coco works with the rest of the set. You know, those other two? Yeah. I started by trying this kind of denim blue. I was going for a rich, but also kind of desaturated color. So I put them together to see, and I hate it. It's, that's hideous. Awful, gross. Mm -mm. Okay, let's try this. This is gonna fix all of our problems. See, isn't that better? No. Also, it looks just like the, the original, original color. color. Poop. Maybe this slightly different blue will fix it. Just that little change, it's gonna make all the difference, isn't it? Well, that did nothing. Clearly, I'm not liking the blue, so I'm gonna limit the color palette even more and just go with the browns, okay? It looks like a chocolate mug, but it's not. It's just brown. I'm gonna paint the hot chocolate in a very dark brown and then add a little whipped cream on top of Lil Coco's head. I particularly love this little spot of whipped cream on his ears. Isn't that just cute? I usually like to get pretty detailed with my designs. Since these squishies are very tiny, I'm gonna have to keep things a little bit more simple, otherwise the details start getting real messy. So I'm trying to get as much detail as possible while still keeping things neat. I gave him some nice relaxed close eyes, father like son. Painting this squishy made me think a lot about what their existence is. Are they always like this? Do they stand up and step out of this mug ever? How would you like to just live your existence in a warm bath? Like that would be so disgusting. Imagine how pruney. I don't know. I kind of just want to see them out of their mugs just once one day. Final touch, I'm going to add back the keychain, which I do still have the original keychain here, but I found these gold ones in my hoard. I mean, my collection. And I like them a little bit better. I did paint the whole clothes, so I'm just going to have to open that up again. Lil Coco's first piercing. Ooh, ooh. And just simply put the key ring on. I wish it were a little bit smaller. It's a big hoop for a little guy, but it's fine. It's gold. That makes it okay. And here is the before and after. You know, I was a little worried that I would prefer the original design because it does have more color, but I actually love the all brown and white color scheme. It just seems so warm and more cohesive. I also think it looks really nice with Mr. Hot Coco. Moving on to this little terror. After thinking about it for a while, I realized I had the wrong reaction about the tail. I should have cut it off while I had the chance because I hate it even more now. Well, better late than never. This is entirely the wrong order to do things. You should never, ever, ever cut off parts after paint. Never parts after paint. Never, ever, ever. Because it's going to be like 10 times harder to make smooth cuts and to blend it all in. But this is reality, peeps. Okay, this is the ugly, real truth of squishy makeovers. So now that I've made that giant mess, it's time to clean it up with some puffy paint. Let's skip to the part after I apply five more layers on top of this, shall we? <laughs> yes. So I started with this tannish color, which is a standard practice for a tart. For the raccoon, I'm going with pink because the raccoon has a strawberry on its head. So I decided to use that and just go all out with the strawberry theme. So I tried this like two-tone thing where the bottom is light pink, the top is dark pink. Eh, might have looked a little bit better if they were closer in color actually. And boom, don't mind the sudden background change. It's nothing. Pay no attention. Mistakes were made. Forgiveness is necessary. Okay, just do it. I'm cleaning things up a bit and adding the little raccoon eye spots. I mean, the eye spots. You know those. I was kind of going off of how the original was designed, but then I looked up an image of an actual raccoon and I realized we're a, a little off track here. So I added a darker mask over top of that. And yeah, that does look a little bit more raccoony. It's also crooked. And look at that, we're back to blue. Now the mouth and nose area was true struggle. You're about to see my first attempt. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I did. I don't know why I thought that white lips was a good idea. It's not. Paint it over that, thank goodness. 
goodness and just added a simple red tongue finally i'm adding some happy eyes because this raccoon has like a wide open smile so clearly happy also the seeds on the strawberry as well as seeds on the raccoon herself because she is a strawberry she has a strawberry she is a strawberry i decided to make one more change to this i kind of like the monochromatic thing that i had going on for lil coco so to keep a similar vibe here i changed the tart to this maroon color i've never seen a tart in this color maybe it's red velvet does red velvet even go with strawberry what even is red velvet i've heard people say that it's just chocolate but if it were chocolate i would like it more it doesn't taste like chocolate to me it tastes kind of like slightly sweet nothing i mean don't get me wrong i'll eat it but i just don't quite understand the hype anyway that's her and she's here looking a little like her nose doesn't exist so i changed that to black then went around to clean up some messes somebody's got to finally adding the gold chain on there and here is the final transformation which <laughs> Besides the fact that the tail really bothered me on the original, there was really nothing wrong with it. And honestly, my design is just all right. So I kind of feel like the before and after are equivalent. I don't love, love, love this one. She's kind of like red velvet for me. I mean, sure, I'll keep it. But am I going to get all excited, jump up and down, shout from the rooftops over it? No, some things just don't turn out as your favorites and that's okay. Maybe someone out there will love little red velvet. I don't know. It's just not going to be me. And the final one. One. This was a no-brainer. I did chocolate, strawberry, slash red velvet, I guess. And now it's time for vanilla. So I'm doing a full vanilla color scheme, which means I can just use the regular cone color. And then for the penguin part, I went with a nice soft vanilla and then a bright white vanilla for the actual ice cream. Now this penguin is no longer a penguin. He's a duck. He's a baby duck. You know how baby ducks have that nice, soft, yellow, gentle fuzziness? This color reminded me of that and he's got a beak or bill a bill oh my gosh baby oh. so i added some very light pastel sprinkles all over the duck <laughs> Thank you, Sprinkle Song. Here's the final transformation, and yay, we end on a high note. Even though this one is super simple, I think it came out really cute. I just wanna kiss it. He's cute. So here's the full set transformed into this. I mean, it's hard because I feel like the originals have a much better like instant impact. They're so vibrant and colorful, but there were a lot of issues there. I feel like mine are a lot more thoughtfully designed. Not that they're free of flaws because they're not, but they do all form a cohesive set. I do wish I was able to get a little bit more details on the eyes, but because they're such small squishies, I had to stick with such simple designs. Overall, I do like how the set came out. I still really want to get another mystery bag. Come back next time and see if I can get another one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!